های دیس زمین انگلیسی هم گانا تاک اباوت ال پی اوثنتیکیشن اند سکیورتی ویچ کنسیست اف تو پارتس دی فرست پارت از نتورک اکسس سکیورتی وات از ایت ایت از دی کمیونیکیشن اور دی وی دت یو ای اور ای دونو سبسکرایبرز ای کان اکسس تو دی نتورک سو دیفینیتلی ان ال پی ایت از وایر ار انترفیس And as it is the air interface, so everyone has access to that, and everyone can listen, can spoof, can sniff data, capture them, can listen. So the security here is a matter. It should be important. And the other side is network domain security. It means within the network. I mean, uh, the components which are located inside the network, for example, communication between P gateway and S gateway, Uh, the barriers or interfaces which are inside the network and uh, I don't know, admin of the network can lock that or make a fence around that so yeah I mean not ordinary people anyone uh, cannot uh, have the access anyway but as here the air interface uh, we're gonna concentrate on that to see the ciphering and think about that anyway so network access security it consists of four parts the First thing is authentication. It means uh, unlike the GSM, on GSM just the UE, just the SIM card uh, authenticated itself to the network. Here it's a two-way uh, authentication. I mean the UE should authenticate itself to the network, say, hey, I'm the correct user. And the network as well should say, okay, I am the correct network. I'm not a fake network. You can trust me and you can send your data to me. This is the authentication, confidentially, I mean, it is uh, where the data related to a SIM card is located and it should be protected. Uh, we have IMSI, which is inside the H, uh, the core, and uh, IMSI is the thing, identifier of the SIM card, but uh, it's not gonna uh, communicate always maybe maybe i don't know it might be for the first time that your sim card is new when you turn it on the sim card will uh, send that towards the end and say hey i am that sim card with that imsi i need authentication but from that part uh, time onwards uh it, it would be mtmz stmz guti i mean uh, all of the uh, temporary identifiers of the lte and ciphering so uh, also known as encryption so we need encryption definitely we're going to talk about that in this video and finally integrity protection it means uh when someone sits uh, between the a user and the network uh he or she can i don't know uh, change the message or i don't know replay or do some sort of i mean tweaks so this is that part that uh, definitely uh they shouldn't be able to do that anyway uh, based on what we've said so far based on what we've known uh, there are two types of messaging in vlt we have uh, nas and we have as non-access stratum access stratum nas is uh, something between mme and the uh, ue and as is something between inodb and the ue so as long as we have two types of communication in the LTE, we need uh, two types of encryption or uh, we need the two, type, uh, two types of communication be encrypted in the LTE. How? Look, we need uh, some sort of ciphering here, encryption here, and also here. Both of them should be encrypted. How? We need a key. Uh, which uh, we should do that uh, we should use that for deciphering and there's a hierarchy the first there is a key here which is a k uh, when you uh, when you're gonna buy a new sim card uh, the service provider will generate that uh, number which is a uh, which is a b uh, and, uh, random number for you it is unique for you and uh, it will be here just in the hss and also in your SIM card. You know, UE consists of two parts, UICC, which is your SIM card, and ME, which is your mobile, which is uh, which you have on your palm of your hand. Anyway, so HSS has that K and keeps that for itself. Uh, HSS is not gonna share that. Based on that K, HSS will make 
C a K and I K ciphering key identity key. and then based on that it will uh, generate K A S M E access security management entity and uh, forwards just this one to the MME and now HSS uh, job is done it's not going to do anything and uh, at the same side here and the UICC we have the K and it will uh, generate CKIK share them to the ME and ME will uh, generate KSME and based on that I mean KSME ME will generate three more codes uh, KNAS security KNAS encryption and KNAS inod and based on KNAS inod uh, it will have a K uh, again encryption security and integrity and it, here, MME, based on that K, will generate KNAS security, KNAS encryption, and will generate K inod and forwards that to the inod and inod again do that. So, what are the reasons? Uh, we know that we have access security and uh, non-access security here. So, for each of them, I mean, uh, when there is a NAS messaging, it should be encrypted. So we use a uh, KNAS encrypted, KNAS integrity for both uh, encryption integrity. MME and UE will use them. And also for communication between UE and UTRAN. So uh, we do need these three keys. This is the concept. Let's go to the diagrams. Look, there is a big question here before going forward. Uh, as long as K, is in the HSS and K is in the UICC and they're gonna uh, make and uh, produce these keys CK and IK and then I mean the result of them are K A S M E the question is that uh, then two different components are gonna make uh, or are gonna generate uh, code K S M E even uh, maybe and uh, not at the same time how should it be possible that KSME will be the same on both of them? This is the big question and maybe the confusing part. But uh, based on that diagram, we'll see that that communication will start from the MME. Actually, uh, MME will talk to the HSS and uh, say, okay, there, we need uh, some sort of, uh, we need some sort of authentication here and the HSS will do what the hss will make some codes and send them to the mme and mme sends them here and actually based on them it will be generated but uh in order not to get confused here and also i'm not gonna mess around with lots of that diagrams i know this topic is somehow complicated we're gonna see on all of them on the x scan so look maybe it is the first time from that time onwards, as I told you, uh, there is a GUTI, MTMZ, STMZ, but this is the first time MME uh, via diameter interface will communicate to the HSS and say, hey, there is an authentication information request. I have that IMSI and we need authentication. HSS will produce four different codes, RAND, authentication, XRS, KSM what are them let's uh, take a look at them one by one the first one is rand okay what is rand rand is a random number hss will generate that based on the k so based on that k hss will generate a random number and it is a some sort of puzzle or challenge for the ue hss will uh, generate the rand and then sends the rand or forwards that to the mme mme forwards that to the look me me forwards that to the uicc i'm your sim card and your sim card will compute a response and send that response just follow me here 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 and here so this is the first part enemy uh, generates the rand and just a random number based on the K and that rand goes directly to the MME. MME will uh, see that as a puzzle, as a challenge. Check that rand and uh, that K and compare them and calculate and compute a response, which is the X response. 
and uh, sends it back to the MME and MME will check uh, is it the same or not here we have check response we'll check that is it the same or not if it is the same so you will be authenticated to the network this is the first and uh, uh, somehow um, the most complicated part and then we have AUTN based and again the same AUTN it goes directly here and here and here check the AUTN look we have checked the AUTN what is AUTN uh, it's a uh, oops, here AUTN anyway AU, what is the AUTN uh, against the second challenge uh, which is going uh, from HSS to the UE AUTN again uh, it is generated uh, by K and the UICC your SIM card will check the K and AUTN and uh, if they are matched if it is okay fr from that time onwards the network will be authenticated to the UE as I told you it's a two week uh, uh, kind of uh, authentication the first one was based on RAND and from that RAND uh, the UE will be authenticated to the uh, imagine MME or the core on the whole the core let's say okay are you UE yes I am the correct UE I'm gonna ask you a question if you uh, answer that correct you'll be uh, uh, identified or you'll be authenticated this is the RAND I'm gonna ask you a puzzle I'm gonna ask you something uh, important or something like that and do you know something like uh, I don't know blah 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 and the user the yes I, I know that this is the first part and then uh, when the U is authenticated uh, the uh, MA will say okay I am the one who something blah 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 and the U will say yes so based on the information that the core is saying to me uh, this core this network will be authenticated to that I'm gonna trust that and I'm gonna share my data towards that and finally we have KSME which is going to here to the MME this is the first part uh, somehow the most complicated part so let's continue but uh, I told you we have uh, AS security I mean AS encryption and NAS this is that part based on KSME we will have uh, KNAS security, KNAS en encryption, M MME uh, has them and keeps them for itself. Sends a request and the command. Actually, it's not a request. So uh, it sends a command towards the EM, uh, towards the U and say, "Okay, security mode command." It means calculate these two now and uh, let's uh, cipher. This is the thing. MME uh, is saying, "Okay, uh, you should do the." Uh, you should go to the security mode and the you will say okay I'm gonna calculate this number and from this part onwards we will have uh, our ciphering and here exactly the same on AS security look enemy will send a message towards uh, the inadb and the here say okay it go to the authentication step and enemy will uh, generate these three keys and again send it, it sends a uh, security mode command to the u and say okay it is the time that you should calculate these keys to have uh, the ciphering okay based on what i've said uh, we know that xcal is the, uh, the, the data which is captured between a ue and the inadb so we should uh, expect what this part random authentication and also this part security mode command nas and as okay 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 good. here this is the xcal uh take a look at that this is uh before that we have mass thing it, it, it is uh actually the beginning of the communication we have a look attach request pdn connectivity mass information blocks something like that blah 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 and then we come down we'll see here we have authentication request and look we have authentication request and based on that authentication parameter random EPS challenge this is exactly that rand authentication parameter rand EPS challenge this is the code that I have told you and also authentication parameter 
AUT and Austin EPS challenge, the two things that we were expecting are here. So this is a downlink. It means from the NID from the uh, tower to the uh, ME to the UE downlink, and it is a NAS messaging EPS uh, enhanced uh, packet uh, system. If I'm not mistaken, and mobility management EMM it's sub layer of NAS. So it's the downlink software of NAS and it is authentication request. It is the first part and the MME is saying, okay, based on these two, we're gonna do the authentication. I don't know for, for what, but for some sort of reason, at first time it is failed. And uh, again, we have authentication request and authentication response and it is okay from this back. So they are authenticated. After that, we should uh, search for security command mode here again downlink eps mm and the security mode command and we'll take a look at here let's see what we can find okay type of ciphering algorithm here based on the capability of the ue uh, we have security mode command and we have uh, actually the mme is saying okay I'm going to use that sort of algorithm for the rest of the communication. Look, uh, we have, for example, on EEA, it's uh, some sort of uh, security um, uh, authentication or encryption. Look, we have EAA1, EA012. Here, three of them are available. And for the type of ciphering algorithm, we have EEA2 and for type of integrity protection algorithm again we have EIA2 so the MMA is saying I'm gonna use this and you should do the same and security mode complete and also the same for AS so it's not gonna be EPS it should be downlink control channel let's go down here 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 there you go download a dedicated control channel Again, the same. Uh, look, uh, we have the downlink RRC, and also uh, they, we, we can call that RRC security. So we have the RRC, look, ciphering algorithm e, EA2 and integrity protection algorithm EI2, exactly the same. And also we have security mode complete. Anyway. These are the, all of the things that I wanted to tell you. Uh, I hope I didn't uh, make you confused, but it is confusing, I know. Maybe you need to rewatch it. Uh, I hope it was good, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it was the concept of that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, bye everyone, take care.